people talk about what to do in real estate, but I think it's just as important to talk about what not to do in real estate. After half a billion dollars in real estate transactions, I've learned a lot of what not to do. And here are some tips as to what not to do in real estate. Number one, don't neglect your lead generation. Your ability to bring in new business, to bring in new clients, to set appointments is the most important thing you would do as a realtor. And if your real estate business is not doing well, if you're struggling as a realtor, it is because you are not setting enough appointments, period. And how you set enough appointments is you block out time to lead generate, to have real estate related conversations to you block out time to market and bring in new business. So that's the, that's the most critical tip I'm going to start off with is don't neglect your lead generation. Second tip is don't work for anybody without a contract in place. You see, I see a lot of new realtors making a speculation and assuming that the client hired them. Anytime you assume you make an ass out of you and the client. So get a contract signed, be a professional. Don't be unavailable or slow to get back to your clients. You, we all live in a world of Amazon Prime, right? Where you order something and you get it the next day. And I've seen realtors where I send them an offer under a listing and I don't hear back for four to five days and I can't get a hold of the individual. That's a person that will be out of business here pretty soon. So don't be unavailable or slow to getting back to your clients. This is really important. And quick story here, I remember my first year, I really struggled with this. And that put me in some very difficult situations. And that thing is don't avoid tough conversations with your clients. What do I mean by that? You have a listing, you know it's overpriced, and you have an overpriced listing because you never had the conversation with the seller. Now you've been on market for 60 days. You know you need a price reduction, yet you're too scared, you're too chicken to call the seller and have that dialogue. And that will always hurt you and your client more than just having the tough conversation. That, that's even outside of real estate. That's just a life tip. Don't avoid having the tough conversations. Lastly, this should be common sense, but I feel like the world lacks common sense today. And that is don't lie or mislead your buyers and sellers. You see, your reputation in the industry will take you years to build up a good reputation and it will take one scenario to completely ruin your reputation. So be honest with people, do the right thing. Don't ever lie or mislead a client. And if you follow these tips, you will have a successful real estate business. You will have more clients than you know what to do with. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if, if you're a realtor, if you have any other don'ts that I may be missed here. For any other tips relating real estate, uh, investing, real estate sales, all things real estate, please subscribe to our channel and look forward to chatting with you next time. Peace.